thought perhaps it would run kind of like a conference. We would have we would have a you know um, these little breakout sessions. Some of it would be relevant to me, and some of it would not be relevant to me. I figured I would go for as long as I could, and 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 then uh, and then I would I would leave when I needed to. So going in, I expect it to be like any other uh, professional development. You have a few takeaways, but not not a tremendous amount. Everything was relevant to me. Um, that was really uh, surprising, not because I thought I would know more and not because uh, whatever, but, but because the focus was so much, uh, was, so, was so specific, um, and, and all of us were so focused, and it was really fast-paced. And it was served to us in... Um, in consumable packages, so we, I didn't feel overwhelmed, yet I felt like I got something out of every single uh, presentation. I think because of the diversity of speakers that we had, there were quite a few takeaways. One of them was um, structuring online and hybrid and the difficulties and the challenges and how to address them. I really liked the students' perspective um, to get an idea of what the students were looking at as far as a hybrid education. Soft chalk. Um, the uh, course templates and the um, the certificate stuff were the big three things that I will use um, in my not just my classroom but but in um, helping students to be prepared to enter the workforce. I can use a lot of it in the future. Um, I plan on hybriding a couple more classes. The only thing is, is it did kind of acknowledge the huge challenges. So now I know that I need to be more prepared, uh, more organized, and not take off as big a chunk when I'm doing the hybrid. So it kind of gave me a focus and kind of an outline on how to start and keep going with it.